obviously one side looked better than the other or maybe they just both look crazy but I truly don't give a fuck. What's up babes? It's your girl Dej back with another video for the day, okay? Alright, okay y'all, so what's up? How y'all doing? Comment down below. How's your day going? How's your week going? Is it productive? You know, you guys having a good week or not? Comment down below. Y'all, before I even start this video, I'm going to let y'all know I'm in tipsy. Like, I made this honey colada drink and I'm just lit right now. But I still have to push for my content for this month. So, you know, I still have to record because I did plan to record today. So, yeah, right now it's actually 10.15. It's kind of late. But I decided to just record this video to get it out the way. And a lot of people have been asking me for my makeup routine. Yeah, I'm not really a makeup person. Like, I do not wear makeup on a regular. I literally wear makeup occasionally, like, if I'm going out or I want to take pictures. Like, but other than that, like, I'm barefaced. Like, I do not wear makeup. Makeup's not, like, an everyday thing for me. At least for right now, it's not. But yeah, so we're going to get into this video. I'm going to be drinking a little bit. I'm going to be talking to y'all. I don't know exactly what we're going to be talking about, but it's just going to come naturally. We're just going to have a conversation. But yeah, so we about to get into this video. I hope you guys like it. If you're fucking with my vibe, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Okay. So y'all, I have these little, I don't know what they're called. I would say they're bunny ears. It kind of looks crazy, but it helps me push back like my hair when I'm doing my makeup. Um, I got it from TJ Maxx. It's like a... It's like a bandana. I don't know. I don't actually don't know what it's called. But yeah, this is what I have on. And then I have my drink right here. I put it in a Wendy's cup because I didn't have a cup. And we just had Wendy's. So yeah, so let's get into this video. When I put my makeup on is I use this petroleum jelly. And I use this all the time. Like I use this after I wash my face. Like this is just what keeps my skin moisturized because I have really dry skin. Right now my skin is just like medium between oily and dry right now. It's not too oily, not too dry. It's like literally what it's supposed to be. But I'm going to put a little bit of this on. Just a little bit because like I said my skin is not too dry right now. And I put this on right before my makeup so you know it could just sink into my skin. So yeah. I got this from the dollar store literally. Like uh, This is the brand. Uh, it's called Creamy Petroleum Jelly Care Oil. So it has vitamin E which is really good for your skin. But yeah, so I'm going to be looking into this mirror while I'm talking to you guys, but I'm going to make sure I show you guys everything. So right now I'm about to just put this on my face, literally one, two, three, four, like on each side, whatever. I really do not know what to talk about, like, but y'all, uh, I am so ready to be consistent on my channel. Like, literally, I'm ready to like post a videos back to back to back to back just because I love it like I just love being like this I want to chase my goals I want to be more consistent with everything I do I don't want to be a talker I want to be more so a doer I'll put some Vaseline on because one thing about it your girl lips be dry every time I'm on camera I feel like I always got dry lips I'm always looking at when I talk but yeah I'm trying to be more consistent for you guys on this channel I'm gonna do anything I can to make it possible to push out content like literally three times a week probably aim for four like challenge myself and we're gonna set some goals and we're gonna we're gonna work we're gonna work this month but yeah so what i use is the nars uh is this the radiant one i don't think this is the radiant one this is actually a news nars foundation the lady at the store recommended this to me because i usually get the bigger one but you know my skin changes throughout the seasons right now i'm a little lighter because summer it's coming but it's not here yet so i got a lighter complexion and my other one had ran out so this is what i use it's called light reflection foundation in the color caracas i think that's what it's called so yeah so what i do is after i moisturize my face i don't use primer because primer doesn't really work good for my skin at least the primer i was using Listen, I'm, I'm new to makeup also, so I'm still learning products and all that, okay? So, this is what I use. I literally place drops like this, like, literally, like, one, two, three. And then I put a little right here. Uh, what I do is blend this in, and then 
if I have enough to put up here I will but if I don't I dab that a little bit on so what I do is I take my beauty blender and it's wet right now it's like damp and I literally just press it into my skin literally just like that all over you want to make sure you get everything like literally under your eye like look at that look at the look how like it just goes into my skin it might look a little crazy right now like i look like michael jackson but <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna just let's wait it's gonna work its magic one thing about it i'm gonna look up and then i put a little on my forehead like remember i don't know if y'all know but i literally put like a little bit on my forehead and I'm just gonna blend that in. Actually, I'm kind of. <laughs> I can do my eyebrows first. I don't know why I'm putting foundation on first. Like, girl, you do not do this on the right level. Start capping for these people. I really do put my. I do my eyebrows first and then foundation. Because I just like to get my eyebrows out the way. But look, this is how. The foundation looks, it looks crazy, I know, but wait, I need to work my magic. Mm. So the next thing I do is my eyebrows. Even though I do my eyebrows first, today I just decided to do it second. So I'm using the Sephora brow pencil and this is, I recently got this, so I don't know how this works. This is going to be our first time trying this because... I didn't use it yet so we're gonna see how that work and this probably zoom in so y'all can see what I'm doing up close so what I usually do is I literally brush up like I brush all my eyebrows up like this so I can see how to line them and with me I have very weird eyebrows especially right here it's very hard to work with my eyebrows is not thick it's very thin and also it's not dark so that's like that was like one of my biggest challenges when I first started makeup with my eyebrows, but we gonna work with them. We gonna work, okay? So, like I said, this is the color. Did I even tell y'all the color? This is the color medium brown, cause like I said, I have very light eyebrows. So, boom. I'm literally gonna go light to, towards the end to shape the end of my eyebrows, just like this. Super light. I don't like too much dark. Like, I don't like the dark look. I really go for like that natural, you feel me? Eyebrow look. I like a natural makeup look. I'm not a dramatic person. Only when it's like, like I said, like a birthday, like my birthday, I will go crazy with the makeup. Other than that, if this is like a regular day and I just want to take pictures, this is what I do. So I'll do that eyebrow. And then I will go to my next eyebrow and literally just do the same thing. Outline it from the bottom and just fill it in. This eyebrow is kind of hard only because this is on the left side of my face and I'm right handed. And it's like, you know, I got a cross over in a way. It's kind of hard to work with. And also this one is kind of like thinner. So I got to like try to make it look even like how the other one is. So yeah, so I just blend it in like that. And then since I got like the, the ends, what I usually do is I play with the front of my eyebrows. And I, like I said, I want to make it look natural. So I brush it up like this just to see the, what to work with when I put my concealer on. And the same with this, I brush it up just to see my natural brows, you know? I don't like to fill in the front because I just want that light and dark look. So then what I do is I take my concealer and Tarte, it's a Tarte concealer brand, color Deep 50H. If you have the same complexion as me, then you guys can use the same colors. This is my concealer brush. I do not know where I got this brush palette from. My friend gave it to me for my birthday. So I don't know what brand it is, but I mean, it's cool, it's good, it does the job. So I put a little bit on my concealer brush and literally I'm gonna wipe this like I close my eyes and literally I'll just go right underneath just like this I 
trying to make it as straight as possible like that right and then I take some and put some like this I like my brows like to the side of my face and I don't think I'm gonna go for an arch really just a little bit just a little arch I take my pencil again and literally just brush it up just like that and then fill it in one more time okay that's more like it I really want to like fix the top <sighs> maybe I'm just a little bit today just for the sake of it just for the sake of it I haven't done this in so long like the top of my brow I usually just leave it how it is but whatever so then I blend it push it up and yeah that's one brow down and the next time I do the same exact thing now it is so hard trying to finesse both eyebrows like eyebrows is literally a hit and miss this is like the hardest part of makeup I think is this part just doing eyebrows because I just hate this part okay and what I do is I literally do the same thing but like I said this side is always harder because I am right-handed and this is the left side of my face this is what it's looking like boom, boom. okay y'all so this is the brows now I don't know if it's even but like I said we're not even we just staying home but this is what I would do if I was going out then what I do is I obviously blend it in with my beauty blender again and I just blend it in close my eye blend it in lightly blend that concealer and I try to drag it down to my eye lid so I, I drag it down to my eyelid in a way but you gotta make sure this shit blended and you don't want to fuck up the brow because look I just fucked it up by blending too much now I gotta fix it because I fucked it up this is exactly why I put the foundation on after so I could hide the concealer you know but now I gotta try to blend in the concealer so annoying but yeah I have to make sure the concealer is blended for real that's it for the brows. I'm gonna just fix this up because I kind of fucked it up. I'm not gonna do it too much. I'm just gonna brush it and put a little bit, literally. Okay, that's it for the brows. So this is how my brows look. Obviously one side looks better than the other, or maybe they just both look crazy, but I truly don't give a fuck. So now I'm going in with my concealer and literally just we have a little shenanigan again with the concealer oh i hate when my fucking face itches and i just did my makeup and my face itches and i can't itch it like <sighs> oh yeah i just literally you know what i do put a cross for jesus Put a little right there, a little on the forehead, and on the nose. Now with the nose, you gotta be real strategic. So what I do is I literally let my concealer sit there for like a minute. I'll just sit there for a minute and that's what we're working with for now this collada is really good mm. i use the same beauty blender for everything i have a white one but i usually use this one because it has that grip i need i don't know what other brush would i use for like concealer and foundation like i have a foundation brush but i'd rather beat it in my skin so what i do is i start with my chin
And then I go to here. And then I go to the forehead. Okay. Then what I do is I go under my eye. The shadow of my eyelash is making me think that I'm missing a spot because of the reflection. It's just, it's annoying. I swear, working with a wet beauty blender is everything. And you gotta make sure this shit wet. So then, boom. So then I go in with my, what brand is that? Laura Mercier translucent honey satin powder honestly i use a beauty blender like i use the same beauty blender for everything i don't know if that's even good but that's what i do and i take it and i literally tap it on where i want to set my makeup i dab it onto my skin so it could really set some people just like i'm about to hit my eye some people just leave it there but for me, I'm me and powder. This powder is literally my best friend. I will go crazy with this powder. I actually just got this powder. Like this is new. I, I usually use. I'm about to show you what I use because I still use it. And then I will go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Finishing Powder. So put it here, here, and I think no. I put the other powder here. So let me set it before it. And this one is like literally the color of my skin. That's why I really like it. I don't know if you can see the difference, but. And I do not touch my nose. The, the nose, my nose is the last thing I touch. I just let that concealer sit there. So yeah, so this is like setting right now, I guess. I don't know, that's what I do. I'll be seeing girls like leave the powder there. I don't know how that goes. I usually do that at the end, I don't know. Listen, I do my makeup different. This is the Rare Beauty Contour Stick. I don't know what, co what color is this. Full of life. This is the color. Full of life. So, what I'm going to do is go down my cheek. Actually, I'm going to go up. I'll put it on the side, but I got to blend that in. This is what we looking like. So then I take my sculpting contour brush and then I literally just like blend it in like this kind of in a way. Then we're gonna blend it in. I just need to make sure that was straight. Boom. When I blend, I blend up when it comes up to a contour. I blend up. My makeup is really like, I don't know, like sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not. It depends if you're in a mood to do your makeup. But you really just gotta make sure your face looks good, you know? And makeup is really all about blending. Like, you gotta make sure everything's blended in if you don't wanna be out here looking crazy. I also gotta set my forehead, y'all. I didn't even do that. So this is what we're looking like so far. This is how it looks. We still not done yet, but this is how it's looking. This is how I'm looking. So then, what do I do after that? Oh, my nose. So then I get into my nose, and for my nose, I'm gonna use the same beauty blender. I know I need to change my beauty blender out because I use this for everything. But y'all. They be tacking for beauty blenders. Nah, I can get a beauty blender. I just, like I said, I don't do my makeup very much often. So, I don't do my makeup often. So, I just be using the same thing. So, I blended my nose out. And as y'all can see, that shit got real thick. So, what I do is I take the contour stick. And then I take what I did use with my eyebrows. And I take a little bit on it since it's like a skinnier you know and I literally go down the middle of my nose I'm 
Now I drag it down like that. Like this. Okay. Boom, that is contoured. And then take my beauty blender and blend the contour in. And then we're gonna set the nose. You know, I should have been to that, but. And then we're gonna set the nose with the powder. Now I'm gonna literally dab in a little bit on, like. It don't need to be that much. It's not that deep. Like that. So this is how it looks so far. This is how my face looks. We're almost done. Like we're literally almost done. Now what I do is, um, you know, I do my blush lash. I take this finishing powder. This is the color of my skin. I'm basically like a finishing powder, yeah. And then I take my, what is this brush, blush, okay. So I take my powder brush, I really just dab. <laughs> and literally just do my whole face, like just go over my whole face. Yeah, so I let that sit, I set that whatever. And then what I tend to do is go in with my e.l.f. blush palette. Um, I don't know what color it is. I got this a very long time ago. My mirror cracked. That's bad luck. But yeah, so these are the four color shades. My mirror is dirty. Then I take my blush brush, my blush brush. And I go in with this color right here and a little bit of this. So these two. Because this is not like really, this is just too much. So I go in with this. And I literally brush up like, like that. And I just constantly do that until I'm satisfied with the pink I want. You know, just a little bit though. Like that. But then, once the, that's done, I'm almost done. I set my eyebrows. I should have been did this, but I take this brow gel and I just make sure my eyebrows is set. So don't mess up. This brow gel is from e.l.f. also, but I don't think e.l.f. is open. No, this is Ulta Beauty brow gel. I don't think e.l.f. is even open anymore. Unless they just closed the one in my hometown. But yeah, that is how we're looking so far. We're looking kicked up, per. Last but not least, we're going to highlight the key parts. And then after that, we're, we're basically done yeah this is the true complexion cream contour palette and all i do this is fucked up but i literally just take the illuminate and i dab a little bit just literally like a little bit because we do not need too much this really shows and then i will go down my nose so that's something i want to bring out is my nose so i'll go down my nose And then I'll use my hand. I'll use my hand to blend that in. And just so my face can have, you know, I'll put like a little mascara on, just a little bit. So I brush out my lashes, brush them up. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, what the fuck was that? Brush it up like that. Oh. And then I'll take my mascara. This is the Better Than Sex mascara. It is Too Faced. Ow! Whoa! Look! I should stab myself. What the hell? Okay. So I'll take it. Like that, just a little bit. I don't know, I need too much because my lash is already dark. And then I go under my eye. 
I hate this part, like taking it off at night because it never wants to come off. Just a little bit, because look, I'm not going away. I'm just doing this makeup video for y'all. Now I have to record another video after this, so. My head. This is the month of consistency, okay? Okay. So yeah, so that is it for the face. Now we're gonna get into my lips. Now y'all yeah, have very small lips, as you can see. And I don't know how to use lip liners, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna see how's gonna have my lip looking. Concrete Jungle Maybelline. Y'all, yeah, I do not recommend this. Shape and lip liner, color 170. So we're just gonna do a little bit. Literally just a little bit. I don't know how the post goes, but I'm just in the lip liner. And then I take the Too Faced Lip Injection because, boom, we need these lips to be big. <laughs> so I just take a little bit because this shit burns for real. Just like that. And then I'll take my Beauty Supply Store NK Makeup. If you know, you know. I'm running out because <laughs> I use this shit every day. And then I just put, you know, it on my lip, like this. Mm -hmm. And in my face, from an angle like this. Let that sink into my skin. And look, this is like literally the final look. Okay, y'all, so this is how I would do my makeup on a night out with, like, my boyfriend. If I'm going on a date, um, if I want to take pictures, if I'm going out with my friends, this is how I would do my makeup. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want more videos like this, comment down below. This is, like, my makeup look. I do not do makeup on a regular, like I said. This is just something I'll just do real quick. I'm still working on how to do my makeup because I'm not a professional. Or whatever but girls if y'all see something that like that can help me out with my makeup comment down below if you do makeup like what powders do you use should I like let me know let me know in the comments what I should do but this is the end of the video like I said if you're fucking with my vibe make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye